Hey guys, today I wanted to show you a couple of the smaller machines I use that make life a lot easier. And I just wanna go through the Rigid K400. This is the Steel Dragon small sectional machine. This little guy is just a Milwaukee 25 foot sink machine. And this brass craft has 50 feet of cable. And um, between these I do pretty good. Also got this Milwaukee air cannon, this shed's a mess. But uh, <laughs> here comes the pub, what are you doing? Um, yeah, I also wanted to look back on this down the road, um, cause this has just been how I've made it through the last two years and the tools that I've used, but now with the, we're getting pretty close to getting the other equipment in. So this is just kind of a documentation, you know, living at the trailer park, making it work out of this little shed. Um, basically just these tools, never had a camera or a jetter. So it, it you know, I was very limited on what I could offer. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Drains Plus. I'm your host, Travis Bradley, and today I just wanted to go over a few different machines um, that I've used over the years. What I like about them, what I don't like about them, um, their use cases, and uh, with our new equipment coming, um, I wanted to take advantage of this chance to go over the machines that I have used and uh, know really well. Um, what's up, little buddy? What's up, little buddy? Um, so, gloves are important. I usually wear um, rubber gloves underneath because they'll soak through. You can get away with the first time. The first machine I want to cover that has probably made me the most is this little steel dragon sectional machine. So I bought it with three spools of cable. You get like 60 feet per, so I got 180 feet just in case. Um, you can go down to uh, the vent pipes and down a lot and this is a really easy machine to carry up on the roof so it comes standard with this super flexible piece which you can get around toilet traps sometimes um, it also came with this tool case that comes with this little sink machine you know which is it's worked a few times for me i like that milwaukee one more personally but it does come with it and a bunch, a bunch of different tips so this one, you just pull these out and it comes in like eight foot increments. It's about to get a little messy here because I got most of them hooked up where they're going. Let me get the tool. Another reason for this, you really want to know what machine you're going to use for certain size pipes. You know, you don't want to use too small and you don't want to go too big. I don't know if you can see this has a cutting point on it, like a big drill bit. Um, and that's a great for just poking a hole in something. You need this little tool to break the cables apart. But once you get it apart, and then you don't want to lose this. Those are really easy to lose. You just put this in get to where you want it, turn the machine on, and so nothing's spinning until you push this. Once you push that lever down, she starts going. So again, you can see the advantage. This is the hollow core cable. It's pretty flexible. Depending on what you're doing, um, you might want solid core, but I've used this for a lot of different scenarios, and it's really, really done well. So again, and it's got a reverse too if you get stuck, but it's just a super light, handy machine. You fill it up with oil every once in a while for maintenance, but that's really it. And I've had that, I think a year and a half, probably used it on 100 jobs. Um, and one very similar, this K400 is pretty nice. I like using this. You don't want to use the Steel Dragon indoors because with your cable, you know, when you pull it back, there's a bunch of water on it. And uh, unless you have, like I've set cardboard and towels down, you can do it that way. So it's got its purpose. Again, if it's a long run, um, 180 feet is going to reach it. But it starts losing power the further out you get. And that cable, you know, it's not going to really break through something too tough. This guy has, I believe, 3.8 solid core cable. Yeah. So it's a little bit firmer, you know, it's not gonna bend much past that. 
and uh, they make these with an auto feed. I prefer this one without it because I can just run the cable down real fast. I can bring it back real fast. And if you get on something real tight that's bound, binding the cable up, there's a screw on this one you just tighten down and then you can kind of work it, pop off, work it, pop off until you break through. That's a good little tip for ripping through toilet paper and stuff. And uh, since we're already here, I'll wire it up. It's a nice quiet machine. It's got a pretty simple foot pedal. Um, forward reverse. It's light and it's clean because it's got the enclosed drain. And you just kind of wipe the cable off as you're pulling it back. And it ends up being a lot cleaner. plugged in. These are nice because you can get both hands on it, you know. This going and you're just kind of, you know, going to town. And if you, uh, the other downside to this is I think it only comes with 75 feet of cable. I believe you can swap these out, but if I can't get it with this machine, I'll swap over to this one if it's kind of a smaller line or if it's inside the house. Um, So while we're on the topic of small machines, and you can use this in a kitchen line too, depending on you know, how tight it is, but I've used it on multiple kitchens. I've used this one on kitchens if you're careful about cleanup. This guy, this was only 200 bucks or something. And so you just pull your cable out till you get on a bind. And you know, so obviously in the pipe, you just pull this back and it grips. So I'll just kind of hold it with one hand and keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can kind of force back, back and forth with it too. So it's a good machine. I like that it came with a bucket for cleanup. You know, when you're done and this thing's dripping some nasty kitchen, you can just put it in the bucket. Call it good. Now, the next machine that I really have been impressed with is this little brass craft. It came with more tips, but I lost them, so I'm just kind of, this this one's done pretty good. It's a little retriever bit. And uh, plug in the foot pedal first, and then plug this past it. Same thing. Now again, if you remember, this one has 50 feet of cable, so it's a great kitchen sink machine. Um, there's not too many kitchen sink lines that this won't work on. And it, it's also enclosed. So this is typically one of the first ones I'll take in to get it draining. Then you can go back and jet it out, camera, it, whatever. But if it's full of water, start here. And again, it's nice with the, the bucket you get it down there. Once you get up on something tight, it's got this little set screw. This is something I don't like about it. I cranked on it and it just kind of strips. So it only tightens so much before the plastic just starts spinning. But... Yeah. Great little machine. And again, I've been using, I think I've had this one almost two years and it's still working like a champ. Some of these things are way cheaper to just replace. And uh, this machine, I think it was less than 200 bucks when I bought it. That's what I charge to use it every time or 250. So, yeah, I think all this stuff right here, that was the most expensive setup. I believe I paid 12, 12 or 1300. The machine was only 500, but the cable's where they get you. That cable's also good for uh, the rigid, I think K60, I believe, which is basically the same thing. I think they knocked it off of that. Um, so these are the tried and true machines. We're, we've decided to go with my Tana, I think is who we're gonna, get our, all of our equipment, the jetters, the cameras, and um, some more snakes through. Um, we just really like that they're kind of on par with our mind, our mindset and our business is kind of aligned. They only focus on sewer and drain stuff. We only focus on sewer and drain stuff. Rigid's a good company and they're a big market, but again, they're, they're in so many different industries. I felt like the uh, customer service might be worse through them, you know, trying to get back if, if you need any repairs. And I also saw some 
um, pretty bad reviews on the cameras breaking down and we can't afford to have our cameras down for a month and not be able to offer that service. So hopefully my Tana um, ends up shining. We'll do some more reviews on that. I also have an M81 big mainline machine that you only want to use for uh, three to six inch lines. Um, and I couldn't find any videos on maintenance for it. So the, you know, I know there's some gear lube and stuff that needs changed. But this one for maintenance, I think, is just needing the oil in uh, this top gearbox. This one, as far as I know, the bearings are sealed and it doesn't need any maintenance. That one doesn't need any maintenance. I don't think this one needs any maintenance either. So they just go and you run them until they quit. Um, I would use this on any kitchen sink line. I've used it on bathtub drains. Inch and a half to two inch, it's real good. This one, the Steel Dragon, is an amazing machine for vents as well as floor sinks. Um, you know, you got a dish pit at a restaurant that's backing up. This thing will get right around that trap and you can run quite a ways with it. That one will also do the same. Um, so you can kind of see how different, depending on the scenario, it's always different. So um, you never know until you get to the job. And this is just the first step is getting the, the water to drain down. So hopefully you learned something. Um, I'm excited to look back on this in the future of where we started. It's January 22nd, 2021. And uh, this process is moving pretty quick. So hopefully any franchisees down the road out there that you know have a sewer machine or two and have been doing this on the side and um, this is kind of for you. I just want you to know that you can do it and eventually your hard work will pay off, especially if you jump on board. I mean, we're, we're figuring out all these problems for you. You know, the software, the website, the free advertising through Facebook, the machines, the package, everything we're trying to do is to make your life easier. So if you decide to, to jump on when the van shows up, you've seen all this equipment, you know how to use it. Um, you'll, you'll see different scenarios where it works, where it doesn't work. Um, it's pretty much process of elimination every time you do this so I'm excited another thing too I really just wanted to test out this camera and get some footage up I'm trying to figure out the GoPro app it took me about six hours to figure out how to do it through the iPad and get it uploaded to Google Drive so again I'm not the most technologically advanced person out there figuring this is the stuff we've, we've needed a team for too like I didn't do the software I didn't do the website development those are other people who specialize in that and we've got a great team and uh, the part you know Matt's my business partner and he's the businessman and understands the scaling and um, the social media and, uh, and the YouTube so I think it's gonna be a great partnership we're getting the material slowly but surely and um, now it's gonna be hey little buddy hey little buddy it's gonna be a uh, just a matter of film 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 we're gonna to try to be getting at least seven videos a week my goal is to have three or four hundred by the end of the year and um, being able to fill things in with with stuff like this just doing product reviews and showing you you know this is where you know I've come from nobody gave me anything and I thought my life might amount to more than cleaning turds out of pipes but you know what this is if it's any consolation that shows kind of what I've been through and being your own boss being uh, able to set your own hours, being paid a fair wage for what you're doing. I mean, this is nasty. Some days it doesn't feel like enough, but more often than not, when, the, the more you get a hang of it, um, the easier it becomes and you know where to start. You, you immediately know what not to try. Um, and sometimes I've cleared drains up and not really known what I've done between blow up bags and snaking and drain chemicals. Um, sometimes it just takes trial and error until you see the water going down. If you did learn something, if you like this, please like, please subscribe. It helps the algorithm a bunch with getting more content up. And again, we're gonna be trying to, to be putting more videos out than just about anybody and quality. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be kind of all over the board. I want there to be some humor. We're gonna have some fun with it. I've got some different characters in mind and uh, we'll keep you posted. So thanks again, have a great one and um, yeah drains plus let's keep uh <laughs> keep snaking turds so the complaint was that it wouldn't stop running as soon as i pulled the lid it's one of these power flushes and the one that scared the shit out of you you're not expecting it um and i've never tried to rebuild this so i just replaced it just like with kitchen faucets and loud faucets